Hello everyone. Today I just uh, want to show you how to enable the in-place archive and uh, move the old messages to the archive mailbox through the rotating policy on Exchange 2009 in Office 365. Let's start. So first we go to the admin dot microsoft dot com. We go to exchange. And then we find the user mailbox like David Smith. Then we go to others tab. And click manage mailbox archive and the mailbox archive. So the default one is disabled. Now I want to enable archive, I just click enabled and then close. So if we go back again, go to others. You see, uh, mailbox archive is enabled now. So what does this mean? When we enable archive, we open the autonomous client for the for this user mailbox. We see there's an online archive mailbox in the autonomous client. One is the user mailbox, the other one is the online archive for this user. So this is done. So Next one, we want to set up the retention policy and also move the old emails to the archive mailbox. So we go to the admin again, and then we click the compliance. In the admin center, we click compliance. In the compliance, we want to see, go to date life cycle management and then go to exchange next. Then we click MRM retention tags. Now we want to create a new tag. Let's see, we want to move. Uh, 10 days old message to the archive mailbox we click new tag and then click next we want to apply to the entire mailbox And then we put a 10 days. In the action, we want to move them to the archive. Click next. Finish. Submit. Now the tag is created now. The next one will go to the MIM retention policies. We create a new policy.
Then we added the text. The tag is which we created before. Maybe the next. So this is done. Now we go back to the exchange admin center. Find the user mailbox. And then we go to the mailbox tab. There's a retention policy. We want to we click manage mailbox policies. In the retention policy, that's the default MRM policy. We want to change it to the policy we created just before. Move 10 days old message to archive. We can save. So this one is done. Let's go to the user outlook client. So we have uh, all the message. You see this one is uh, 25th of April 2023 is in the user mailbox and it's not in the archive mailbox. Archive mailbox is empty. So if we want to apply the retention policy immediately, we can run the PowerShell command. Normally, we open PowerShell. If we don't have the Exchange Online Management model installed on this computer, we need to download the Exchange Online, Online Management module and install first. And then we can run the command below. First, we connect. After we connect to uh, Exchange Online module, we can run the command below. We have run this uh, command start dash managed folder assistant identity then David dot Smith at CSQL two zero two zero dot on Microsoft.com. This will force the retention policy to run. So let's go back to the user client, Outlook client. We go to user Outlook client and we go there. Go to inbox. You see others is empty. Let's go to the archive mailbox. We see this mailbox, uh, this message is uh, moved from the user mailbox to the user archive mailbox. That's all for today. Thank you.